I was supposed to be uploading something this Friday, but I didn't. So, here it is on Monday. I guess that's basically it. Sorry I didn't upload. So I guess you guys will get two videos this week, because this will be today, and then I'll upload again on Saturday. So, yeah, enjoy the video. So, hey guys, what's up? How you guys doing? Thank you guys for watching for this. Thank you for watching this video. I've got to make this really quick, because i got to return this thing. But, I'm just going to do a few thoughts on the Glidecam 2 HD 2000. So here is the, the Glycam HD 2000. I rented it for a project that I had to do. Had to, I shot a wedding. I do have this, but I didn't want to use this. Very, uh, I can tell that the build quality is a lot better than the newer, or the newer, newer, newer. I never figured out how to say that, so the newer. Um, you can just feel it's more, it's more sturdy. The ball bearings are smoother. They don't, just don't, they don't stick as much. I feel like this balance is a lot quicker than that does. So some features that I liked about it is for one, the, the balancing. These, this thing. Okay, there's a nut here, and then there's a nut here. Both of these thumb screws adjust it. So this one does it left to right. This one does it forward to back. So you can hold it with this hand like this, and then when the camera's on here, you can screw it this way if it's leaning back, and you can actually watch it come forward. Same thing with this, you can screw this and it brings it in. That doubly, that makes it even nicer because if it's off just a little bit, you can just turn it just a little bit. Being able to adjust it, the finer adjustments, the adjustments are finer, the fine tune adjustments, the adjustment finer tuning. You can fine tune the adjustments, I think that's what I'm trying to say. I like that you can quickly get this, this plate off, you just unscrew and then this plate comes right off. Probably wondering why do you care that this plate comes off? Because there's a bunch of mounting holes here and you might want to slide your camera forward and back to get it somewhat close to center before you actually use the knobs to center it. Another thing that I liked about this is that it did not unbalance itself nearly as much as this one did. I like maybe had to rebalance it once in the five hours that I used it. I had to rebalance it once because I put a light on my camera but that's it. Besides that, this thing stayed rock solid. It balanced easy and it stayed balanced is what, that's, that's the main reason why I wanted to rent it because I didn't want to have to deal with rebalancing the, the, newer, the newer all the time. Downsides. Downsides is that it is heavier than the newer. I haven't weighed them yet, but I can already tell that this is much heavier than that. This quick release plate is seized. It's kind of, it's, it's kind of stiff to take out. That was very easy that one time, of course, the one time I'm on camera. It's not that hard, but I'm sure that's just because this is worn. I got this from a rental house, Lens Pro to Go. I have rented from them before. You guys have watched my channel all the time. You know about Lens Pro to Go, and you can tell this thing has been beat, has been beat up, but it still works. If you guys are renting from Lens Pro to Go at checkout, right there in the discount code in the discount area, if you guys want to get some a discount, if you guys want to get a discount, just type in uh, Rayma Visual 15, and you will easily, instantly get zero percent off your order. So yeah, so it's heavy. This plate is a little tight to get off. And this locking, this locking mechanism here gets in the way of the camera. I'm gonna get the, my other camera and show you what I am talking about. So this is, this is full lock. You can see the camera doesn't move. The camera doesn't go anywhere, but it's, it's hard to, to kind of get your fingers in there to unlock it. If this plate was smaller than this thumb, this locking lever, this lever would be able to swivel down like that. So that is something I noticed on the HD 4000, that this plate is a lot smaller. Oh crap, that was all zoomed in, Evan. That was great. That was real, real great. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching this. I really enjoyed this video. I didn't have a chance to balance this, so it's gonna be all over the place. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, give it, give it a like. If you liked it, give it a like smash the like button. Hit that subscribe button as well. I'm sweating. I'm sweating up a pig. Yeah, even though pigs don't sweat, I don't know why we say that. I'm sweating a lot, so I'm going to stop. Thank you for watching. Roll the outro. The roll the outro that I don't have. Oh, I was going really fast because I have to return this thing. I need to get it in the mail today. And it's late. The mailing place is going to close soon. So that's why I kind of just threw this lighting up, got, got my mic, got this and I was like, I gotta make a video before I gotta return it. So, I gotta return this. <sighs>